What if you could fully automate your bedroom or home office, hell, even your entire home without breaking the bank and without having a ton of knowledge about smart homes? All you need are tiny little robots to do all the work for you. Well, that's what we're talking about today. Hey, what's going on, people? I hope y'all are good. Today, I've partnered with my friends over at SwitchBot to show you some of their brand new products and how I've incorporated them into my home office here because as you may or may not know, I've been on this smart home kick for a bit now, and while I'm a ways off, we are getting closer and closer to being somewhat finished. To kick this video off, let's start with one of SwitchBot's latest and most recently updated products, the Curtain 3. It comes in two different versions, U-Rail for people with sliding blinds similar to these and U-Rod for people that use curtain rods. Originally, I tried the U-Rail option, but unfortunately they were not compatible with my curtains. This was a bummer since I really was excited to try them out. So if you're interested in the U-Rail version, I highly suggest going onto the website and taking a look at the documentation to make sure they're compatible with your rail. The rod version is definitely a bit more universal and I was able to get it installed easily. There are three different installation methods depending on if you're using curtains with hooks, grommets, or a pleated style. Hooks are by far the easiest. However, I realized that you can deviate from the recommended instructions pending that you have a little bit of knowledge on how things work and you supervise the first few times you use the SwitchBot Curtain 3. I say this because it's recommended that I use the beaded clips for my grommet style curtains, but due to the style that I'm using and the rod that I'm using, it actually functions perfectly fine without the clips and the magnetic attachment, which ultimately creates a much cleaner look. So my advice is to use the instructions as guidance, but don't be afraid to try what works best for you. Just be responsible. Now, once all of that is installed, it's really easy to set up the solar panels. They clip into the USB-C port on the bottom of the Curtain 3. This should keep your Curtain 3 juiced up depending on how often you're opening and closing your curtains and how much sunlight is hitting your windows. There's even a setting within the app that allows you to pick the most optimal spot for the solar panel and the curtains will move to that spot in order to get the most efficient charge. Of course, if this isn't your cup of tea for the Curtain 3, you can always charge them with a battery pack or by simply plugging them into a wall directly. The SwitchBot Curtain 3 offers several improvements over the Curtain 2. This includes an upgraded force strength that allows the Curtain 3 to push up to 15 kilograms or 33 pounds. It's also significantly quieter than the previous version thanks to the new quiet drift mode, which basically makes it silent at the cost of moving much slower. However, if you don't care about a little noise, you can run them in the performance mode, which opens the curtains really fast. One of my favorite things on the Curtain 3 is the touch and go feature. This allows me to manually start to close my curtains and after the SwitchBot moves a certain amount, it will automatically take over and close the curtains the rest of the way for me. This is great in cases where I can't access my home automations or my smart home controls, such as in a power outage. Speaking of automation, the SwitchBot Curtain 3 ties wonderfully into my smart home ecosystem thanks to the new SwitchBot Hub 2. I'm currently using Amazon's platform and I'm able to create scenes and groups with my other smart home devices thanks to its connectivity. For instance, I can say good morning and it will open up my curtains and turn on my office lights. Alexa, good morning. Or good night, which will do the opposite. Alexa, good night. Additionally, I can create schedules to open and close my curtains or even have the curtains open when sunlight is detected on the solar panels and close them when the sunlight starts to fade. Another way to control the blinds is by setting up a delay, which basically means after a certain amount of time, they're either going to close or open depending on the current position that they're in. This can all be set up within the SwitchBot Curtain 3 settings within the SwitchBot app. Lastly, you can always just use the app to control the curtains. You can control one side at a time or you can control both in sync. What's really cool is you can slide the blinds within the app to the exact spot you want and the blinds will actually move right to that spot. It's pretty dang accurate and it's super easy to use. 
The great thing about SwitchBot is that they have their own little ecosystem of products. So in addition to the Curtain 3, I also have two SwitchBot blind tilt openers paired in a scene with the Curtain 3. So if I tap on the scene titled, show me the light, it's going to open up the curtains, wait for 20 seconds, and then open the blinds. I added the 20 second delay to avoid the curtains interfering with the blinds while it's rotating. I mean, truthfully, it's probably fine without the delay, but it's just a in case type precaution. Now on the flip side, if I tap on give me darkness, it will close the blinds, wait only 10 seconds, and then close the curtains. Of course, you can pair even more stuff with this, including a wide range of additional smart devices, thanks to its ability to tie into different smart home ecosystems like Google Home and of course, Amazon's. The SwitchBot blind tilt opener is fantastic. Installation is relatively easy. It mostly consists of measuring the tilt wand, selecting the correct adapter, attaching the motor, securing the cable, and then connecting the included solar panel, which just sticks to your window. Super easy. Once set up, you can control the blinds just like you can the curtains. This includes setting a delay, creating a schedule, using the solar panel to automatically open and close them depending on the sunlight, and of course, all of the smart home functionality and automations. You can even use the app for adjusting them up to two degrees. Again, I'm pretty blown away by the accuracy that you get using the SwitchBot blind tilt opener and of course the curtain three. Now, I briefly mentioned the SwitchBot Hub 2 when I was talking about smart home integration and different automations. So I wanna go back to that since it's one of SwitchBot's latest additions to their little ecosystem. And it brings several new and important advancements. For starters, it allows you to tie in any SwitchBot product to your smart home platform thanks to its wide compatibility, including Matter support. The hub itself is also not ugly, unlike many other hubs that just hang out of the wall. This one has an LED screen that displays the time, and thanks to the cable having a built-in sensor, it also displays the temperature and humidity level. Inside the app, you can adjust your desired conditions and assign alerts if those conditions are not met so you can adjust your thermostat. There's also on and off buttons on the hub so you can quickly start and stop different scenes or functions depending on how you have it set up. I'll come back to this in a bit. Another really neat thing about the hub too is that it has an IR remote built into it so you can pair various remotes to the hub and control compatible devices. For instance, I can have the hub start and stop recording on my Sony camera. I can even go into the SwitchBot app and use the on-screen controls to control other functions of that same camera. It's pretty crazy and awesome to see. Last Last but not least, I've been using these little SwitchBot button pressers to control my wireless video transmitters and receivers. However, I definitely plan on grabbing some more of these because after seeing how easy they are to install and use, plus all the possible use cases, I have a shiz load of ideas I want to try to automate with even more gear. They come with a few different 3M attachments for different switch types, and you can adjust the type of press that occurs within the app. For instance, you can have them press and hold for a certain amount of time, like I have. You can have it press and hold until it's triggered again, or you can have it press and then return right away. There are so many cool ways to use these little robots and I love it. So here's a quick example of my setup. Right now I have the SwitchBot Hub 2 on my multicam desk where I do all of my overhead shots and A roll like you see in this video. For the on and off buttons on the Hub 2, I have it set so that on will turn on and off my wireless receivers at the same time and off will open and shut the blinds and curtains so I can control the lighting whenever making a video. Additionally, you can get some of these little SwitchBot remote controls right here and get the same functionality by assigning each button a certain action or scene. For example, on my multicam setup, I have a remote under the desk. One button controls the overhead transmitter and receiver, and the other button controls the A cam transmitter and receiver. This way, I can control them each individually for the times I don't need to use both cameras. I also have another remote on the wall when you walk into my office. That way I can easily control the windows when entering and leaving. The best part about all of this stuff is the price. Typically smart blinds and curtains will set you back hundreds or even thousands of dollars depending on how many windows you're doing and what brand you choose to go with. Everything I talked about in this video costs less than $100 individually. The Curtain 3 is $89.99. The Blind Tail Opener is $69.99. The Button Presser, $29.99. The Remote, $19.99. And the Hub 2 is $69.99. Chances are you can fully 
automate an entire bedroom in your house for 250 bucks or less, including the windows, lights, and more. So let me know what you think of SwitchBot's latest products and their ecosystem and how you would use them in your house or home office. I definitely have a few more ideas I'm going to try, including an automated green screen, which would be awesome for streamers. Make sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss that. Links to everything I talked about in this video can be found in the description as well as the pinned comment. And other than that, I'll see you beautiful people in the next video.